How can you draw animals using simple shapes? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Now this video right here is part of our Learn to Teach series because I'm ho hoping to help all of the teachers out there, the parents, the older siblings, anyone who's interested in creating worksheets, or drawings, or activities for their kids at home or the kids that they know. And uh, we are going to talk about making uh, animal faces using basic shapes using the things I've learned dabbling pagdating sa art in uh, my past years sa aking buhay because I do love drawing and some of the things that I learned through our sponsor for today this video is brought to you by Skillshare Skillshare is an online learning community where millions gather to learn more about things that they are interested in one of the classes that helped me prepare for this lesson, well, kind of inspired me to do this. I know it's a little bit different, but nakatulong din siya dun sa pagperform ng idea. Is this class right here? This is from a creator who does watercolor work and illustration work. Um, her name is Yasmina Creates. And a meron siyang course on how you can draw cute animals in three simple steps. And because that helped me kind of think about simplifying things, I came up with this idea on how you can draw animals using basic shapes, which is what we're going to talk about today. Skillshare offers a wide variety of lessons mula sa web design, creative work, illustration, photography, at marami pang iba that could help you learn new things. It's a great way to explore your creativity. And for the price of less than $10 a month for an annual subscription, it's actually a very affordable way to go. But just a special offer for all of you, we are actually offering uh, the first 1,000 of you who will sign up by clicking on the link in the description box and in the top pinned comments of video na ito, a free premium membership. Again, for the first 1,000 lang who are going to click that link. So if you want to join, go and click on that right away. All right, so if you're ready, let's dive right into our lesson sa araw na ito. Okay? All right, so uh, before I started making this lesson, meron na akong mga ilang animals na I pre-drew for you. Um, all of these, uh, ginawa ko siya beforehand because I want to walk you through the entire process. So, ipa-play ko muna yung end result. So, naka-time-lapse na siya. Tapos, we're going to work at an illustration together following the new steps nung nasa time lapse okay but okay ang gagamitin natin dito is just regular na lines like regular na shapes just in case uh, you don't have procreate which is the program that i used here and you don't have an ipad pwede nyo siyang gam gamitin sa totoo lang yung same steps whether you're drawing on paper or kung meron naman kayong ibang mga apps na ginagamit or if you are using powerpoint kasi may mga basic shapes din sa powerpoint okay so again, we're going to focus on the process, kahit na hindi exactly the same yung mga end results natin. Let's start with something fun, okay? Yung pig. This is one of the most simple na illustrations. Okay, so yan na yung pig natin. Now, if you notice, it always starts with yung round na face shape, which is what we're going to also replicate today. Okay, so to draw the pig, all you need to start out with is yung face shape niya muna, which is going to be a circle, kasi pigs are a little bit chubby. Kung procreate ang ginagamit nyo like me, you can use yung feature to create a circle, okay, that would look a little bit like that. So merong way for you to create a diba, rather perfect circle, pero kahit na hindi perfect yung circle, okay lang din, okay? Ang importante yung face shape natin is round. Now, the next thing that you're going to, to draw is the most um, ano ba, distinct na feature ng pig sa face, which is yung snout niya. Okay, I like uh, drawing it ng a little bit sa about half ng face. Okay, so again, it's also a circle, just a little bit more flat. So, hindi siya talaga circle-circle, no? Pero it's going to be a bit parang oval siya. 
Okay? Sa gitna ng face. So, yun yung magiging snout niya. Tapos, you can draw yung eyes. Yung eyes, may options kayo. You can just use a uh, shape like that. Okay? Kung masaya yung ping mo, so dalawang ganun. Or, kung gusto mo, pwede ring round na eyes. Okay? So, a circle here. Another circle here. Okay? Those could be the eyes. Yung snout, lalagyan natin siya ng parang slits na ganun. Okay? Again, if you're drawing it ng freehand, pwedeng ganun. Or, if you're using Procreate, pwedeng ganyan. Para lang mas uh, straight yung mga lines natin. But the idea is the same. It's going to be a snout. Kasi yun yung pinaka-pronounced. So again, dalawang mas maninipis pang uh, oblong dun sa nose area. Tapos you can put a smile dito. Yan. Or if you want, you can put yung tongue out nung pig by joining it dun sa snout niya. Okay? Tapos for the ears, this is a shape that's going to be familiar with you kasi mag re appear siya sa maraming animals. You can draw a basic, parang point like that, like a triangle. Okay, that could be a good start. Or kung gusto mo medyo cute siya, pwedeng i-curve mo lang yung nasa taas, tapos curve mo lang pababa, and there you have an ear. Sa kabila, gagawin din natin ganun. So, curve, curve. Okay, let's just try to make it a little bit more even. And again, sa ibang mga apps, pwedeng may feature na imi-mirror mo lang yung shape so that you have more control. Uh, pag symmetrical kasi yung drawing, mas, ano ba, mas maganda sa, sa mata. So that's an option for you. Okay? So again, hindi naman kailangan perfect. Let's go with that. And now you have yung ating basic na pig. Sa eyes, and again, this is what we'll do with the, ne the other animals naman. You can put a circle inside. Okay? Or, yan, smaller circle inside. Tapos, pwede natin siyang kula kulayan ng black. Yan. Tapos, kung gusto mo na mas malaki, para mas cute, okay lang din. Yan. Cute din kasi kung, ma kung malaki yung pinaka black sa mata niya. Yan. So, we can just put it na ganyan, mas malaki. Now, again, kung wala namang tool, um, okay lang din. Hindi naman kailangan bumili pa kayo ng tablet in order for you to practice drawing like this, no? Um, you can just do sketches at home. Okay, just try your best to make it a little bit symmetrical. Again, it's, it doesn't have to be perfect, which I'll illustrate here. Tapos, um, ako, I put white size para lang mas cute yung pig, para alam mo kung saan siya nakatingin. Okay, kasi if you notice, iba-iba itsura niya pag doon siya nakatingin, pwedeng, naka, pwedeng sa baba. Yan, parang it changes yung pinaka-dynamic ng picture. Okay? Ang idea lang is, kung dun siya sa left side, dun sa, sa, sa right eye, dun din siya sa left eye. Para mukhang same direction yung tinitinan ng pig. Now, we'll start coloring stuff. So, itong snout niya, magiging black ito. Yan. Tapos, syempre yung pig, di ba? Pink kasi yung pig, eh, no? Um, you can choose a color na light pink. So, pupunuin lang natin yung shape. Ayan. Ganyan. Okay? Yung snout, I try to use a pink that's a little more light. Dun sa face or something. Tapos yung snout medyo a little more pronounced. Try natin. Ayan. Para lang may pagkakaiba yung kulay. Pwede mo rin siyang gamitin for, for the ears. Para lang mas, again, you can play around with colors din naman. Kung masyado kang nadidiliman or natitingkaran sa kanya. Okay. And then, dun sa mouth, pwede natin gawing red uh, for the tongue. Yan. Tapos, lagyan natin ng guhit sa gitna. And again, these are details na lang na additional na lang to. Pwede nyo lang hindi gawin. Yan. Para nakatong out yung ating pig. Okay? So, that is yung basic pig natin. Pwede ka rin maglagay ng mga details. Yung iba, they like making it a little bit more cartoony by adding mga bangs or something like that. You can add that or a few hairs, di ba? Kung you're using this for a story na iba-iba yung characters ng pigs, pwede mong palitan na lang yung ibang mga details. Like some of them, lalagyan mo sila ng hat or ng small cap or something. Okay, yan naman yung basics natin. Yan, if you put a cap like that, na kaya yung color red or something naman na ibang kulay naman din. Again, all of these things you can just play around with um, once you have yung basic na shape ng pig. 
Okay? And if you keep drawing it, uh, we can also play around with the dimensions. Ano yung mangyayari kung nalagyan ko siya ng ngipin or anything like that. Basta importante. Again, you have your round shape for the face, round eyes, yung oblong as a snout, tapos yung ears niya or ganyan. Pwedeng triangle or parang curved lang siya na pointed sa gilid. Okay? So that's your pig. Now, yung next drawing natin, I'll uh, walk you through this. Let's, see, let's do yung cat. Again, basic shapes lang. We have circles, do dominantly circles yan. So, I was playing around with the details and then we have a fat cat. Okay, so ito yung end result niya. If you notice, medyo kahawig niya rin yung pusa dun sa ating video on how to animate your PowerPoint for small kids. Yung small choices, big changes natin na video. If you haven't seen that yet, I'll link it down in the as if you want to see that um, end result and yung yung video tutorial that in on. Uh, Kahawin niya rin yung cat doon. So again, it's using basic shapes. Let me walk you through. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with another square here for the illustration ng cat. Again, bilog lang muna. So if you notice, medyo may pinagkapare pareho na lahat. Let's start with circles. Okay, so just a big circle for the face. Tapos, pwede ka nang maglagay nung pinaka um, mouth part nung cat. Now, ang trick here is, pwede mo siyang gawing maliit. Okay, so maliit na circle. Around here. Tapos, ito na yung lalagyan natin ng nose. Yan, ganyan siya. Tapos, yung whiskers niya. Of course, yung eyes, which will be round. Okay. And again, you can do more cartoony type ng eyes. Kung gusto mong naka-happy smile lang siya. Or um, kung gusto mong naka-wink siya, pwede rin. You know? So, ito yung cat natin. Again, the ear would be like that. Ang difference lang is when I draw cats, um, dahil ang ears nila is very pronounced and magkaiba yung kulay, di ba, sa ibabaw at sa ilalim, I like putting a slit dun sa gitna. So, nahati yung tenga niya. Okay? Now, that already kind of looks like a cat. Pwede mo rin again lagyan ng, ng dila dyan. And it looks like a fat cat simply because maliit yung features na nilagay natin dyan. Okay? So, again, same thing. Bilog na, na mukha, bilog na mga mata, bilog na yung snout. Tapos, you have a nose here. So, yung nose parang oblong lang din siya. Or kung gusto nyo mas detailed, you can draw it like this. Yung parang medyo... Uka na ganun. Diba? Mas malapit do sa toong shape ng ilong ng cat. Pwede rin ganyan. Alright. And then, we can start to, ano ba, brush things up, color things a little bit. Kung gusto kong gawing gray yung cat, diba? Pwede rin. So, gray yung mukha niya. Gray yung taas na part ng ear. Yung loob ng ears, gusto ko pink, no? Kasi diba yung ears ng cat, pinkish talaga yung sa loob, no? So, pink siya dyan. Tapos yung tong, gawin din natin pink. Yan. Tapos yung snout niya is white. Okay? Pwede nang ganyan. Tapos, kung gusto mo lagyan ng details, pwede mo siya lagyan ng mga stuff like that. Okay? Pwede mo lagyan ng, kunyari, yung isang mata niya white. So, again, ang pinaka-focus lang natin are yung shapes ng face. So, ang shape ng face niya is still round. Here, tapos yung eyes, na round din. Tapos yung ating snout, ears, and then yung whiskers. So, basic shapes magkakapareho nung sa pig. Iba-iba lang ng konti ng proportions. Now, dahil nagawa na natin yung cat, try natin yung dog. Uh, this one, kasi maraming iba-ibang klase ng dog, do. Maraming yung mga looks ng dog. Ito, medyo, ang inspiration ko dito is a pog. But again, it's a little more complex. Siguro a little bit more advanced kasi iba na yung mga shapes. Pero, the pinaka-core shapes niya or yung basic shapes niya actually are still the same. You have yung circle for the face, circle din for the eyes. Tapos, yung shape din natin ng ears, na triangle. Pero this time, in-overlap natin kasi yung flap nung ears ng pag nakababa. So, may mga spots lang siya or colored areas dun sa face. Okay, so ang gagawin na natin ngayon is a dog. Again, circle for the face. And you can we can move this around. Lagyan natin sa gitna. Tapos, um, yung eyes. 
So, just big eyes. Another tip here is, kapag nag-draw tayo, the bigger the eyes, the cuter the animal gets. So, you can play around with the size din ng eyes. Meron siyang nose. Yan. Ginawa ko lang mes- medyo mas detailed. Medyo snubby yung nose niya na ganyan. Tapos, black naman yung nose niya. So, ako, kocolor ko na siya para mas may detail siya ngayon. Yung ears, actually, ganun din yung shape nun. Uh, pero, mas mababa. Okay? So, mababa siya ng konti. Kasi, para siyang triangle lang. Tapos, ginawa ko lang, in-overlap ko siyang ganyan. Okay? Doon sa face. Tapos, buburahin ko na yung lines mamaya. Yan. Ito, buburahin ko yung line na ito. Yan. Para parang nag-overlap siya doon sa mukha nung dog. So, cut lang natin tong line na ito. Diyan. So, parang flap na yung tenga niya. Okay? Tapos yung mga parts naman doon sa kanyang face na gusto nating i-highlight kasi iba-iba yung kulay, pwede nating i-draw ng mga lines mamaya. Okay? So, again, to circle lang for the eyes. Kasi if you notice yung mga dogs... Yung eyes nila very round, no? Very cute. So, pinuno ko lang din ng black. Yan. Okay. So, para meron na siyang start or base ng kanyang face. Now, dun sa colors niya, okay, I like to color na using yung color na gagamitin ko mamaya. Hahati-hatiin ko lang yung, yung face niya. So, for the face itself, meron tayong parang shape dito na uh, cute. Yan, ganyan. Okay. Parang ano lang yan. Parang meron lang siyang parang letter T na nakabaliktad. Hindi naman kailangan perfect yung color. Okay? Um, pupunoin lang natin siya rin ng brown. Tapos, gusto ko ng medyo mas light brown ng konti dun sa may eye area niya. Ayan, kukuha lang ako ng mas light na brown. So, dito ko naman siya ibibilog. Ayan. And again, kung wala namang fill na feature, pwede namang manual na color siya, no? Um, actually, kapag meron tayong mga alaga na anak, pwede i-sample nyo lang sa kanila, tapos pwede silang maging creative na kung paano lang kukulaya ng buo. Sa ears, lagay nila natin yung same brown. Yung mismong skin niya, mas, mas light ng konti pa. Okay? Tapos, yung details ngayon, Nung pinaka uh, place kung saan yung whiskers niya, dadat lang natin na ganyan. So, pwedeng tatlo or apat na dots. Tapos, lalagyan natin siya ng, ng mouth. Pwedeng cute lang na ganyan. Pwedeng gusto nyo, medyo mas malaki. Pwede rin. Yan. So, now it looks like a dog. So, again, depende na sa inyo kung anong klaseng dog yung gusto nyo gawin. Kung gusto nyo na um, meron siyang spot sa eye niya na medyo mas dark. So, kunyari itong part na to, kung gusto ko siyang gawing darker color, pwede rin. Pwede ko siyang gawing black. Di ba? May mga dogs na ganun eh. Parang spot. Pwede gawin kung uh, white yung color ng dog. Pwede rin. Okay? So, nagiging black and white yung dog. Yan. You know, may mga ganong klaseng dogs kasi, di ba? Parang um, iba yung color nila. Pwede mong um, iba hindi yung markings. Right? If you have an actual dog, tas you're doing this with a child, pwede mo sabihin sa kanya, oh, gayahin mo yung itsura nung, nung dog natin. Ano itsura niya? Okay? So again, all of the different breeds din ng dogs, nag-iba-iba lang din yung dimension nila. May ibang dogs na instead of ganito ang ears, nakatayo yung ears nila. So you can just draw it like that. Diba? Nakatayo yung ears. Parang yung mga German Shepherd. Pwedeng mas droopy pa yung ears. If you have um, a beagle, di ba? Ang ear niya parang ganyan. So, mas mahaba. Or ganyan. Yan. So, you can you can really um, have different na features. Basta ang basic na shape pa rin niya is you have a round face, round eyes, and so on and so forth. Okay? So, yun yung idea nitong video na to. You can have a guide, pero you can get creative din about it. Okay? 
All right, I hope you learned something today. Uh, if you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends, lalo na kung magiging interesado rin sila to dabble in art and create uh, these shapes and um, put them together into bigger pictures for their kids, for their siblings, or kung talaga interesado lang sila in drawing, this could help them and encourage them that you can really start simple. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe na, hit that bell icon. We have more topics coming up. This is part of our learning to teach series we have an entire series na i taught you how to make a full video lesson using just one phone we talked about how to use powerpoint to fake animation when it comes to uh, lessons for younger kids you can find the link to that playlist then right here's i button if you're watching this on youtube or in the description box below all right and uh, that's it muna for now as you always see sa channel na to, never stop learning aja aja kaya i'll see you in the next video and bye for now